Hi guys, Ninja Ani. Um, I'd like to welcome you back to the CIPC DIY course. Um, I'm Samkele Makoko, your instructor and guide on this course that teaches you how to transact with the Companies and Intellectual Property Commission, as well as introduces you to South African company law. So in this lesson, um, I want to tell you about um, um, the supporting documents that you should sign after you register a company. So. If it happens that um, you register a company via the, the, the CIPC website, when you register a company via the CIPC website, you will get a confirmation email from the CIPC once you've launched your transaction in the previous video. So once you, you've launched your transaction on the CIPC website, um, you get an email confirmation saying that um, your transaction was successful and so on. And you are required also to send a supporting document um, you as an account holder, um, as a CIPC account holder, you should um, send your supporting documents as well as the supporting documents for the shareholders and so on. So um, there's a document that is attached to this email. So this email um, is a subject to just company registration and as well as the checking number um, for, for, for this particular transaction and so on. So the email then what I get here is that there's, a t there's an attachment and it's this form here. Um, all directors of the company must sign this form and then scan and send it back to the CIPC. So I want to show you how you sign this form and how you go about doing um, Konke Law and so on so that you can complete your company registration. So what I'll do is that um, I'll actually open um, these forms here. Um, I'll bring out some information because there's private information here like uh, my address and stuff. So I'll actually play it out since I was born. Eh? However, the most important thing um, is that this is how the form looks like um, that you get from the CIPC. It will tell you the date the company registration was captured. That's the first thing. Gives you the checking number for your transaction. Um, the customer code for the person who lodged the transaction. So um, the transaction was lodged by some kind of code, which is me. And this is my customer um, code, um, S1, but that was zero and so on. And then it gives you the enterprise information, which is um, the information you filled in for your company, like your company address, um, the name of the company, or if you applied for a name reservation, um, the, 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 the tracking number for that particular name reservation and so on, as well as the number of shares you have. Um, all of this information will be born if you go back to the video where I was registered in your company. So let me scroll down now to go to a more important part. Um, okay. So here it says directors and incorporators, as you can see. Um, below this, there's nothing else, like Leah Pelly form. So let me go back up then. So this is where you are supposed to sign um, as a, 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 a director of this company and so on. So if you inputted a person as a director, as a director also as an incorporator, you'll find you will see there will be two spaces for that person or for that director. There will be a space where it's written as an incorporator in a space where it's just a director. So in this example here, um, I was registering this company, Lokshin Investment Finance and Economics Group, and I'm the only um, director, so I should have been also the incorporator because when you register a company, at least one director should be an incorporator. Um, so if there's one director, obviously the director will also be an incorporator. So what was required of me here was that I should sign this form, um, which says signature, um, obviously, um, sign the date and the date, as it says below, the date cannot before ca cannot be before twenty January twenty fifteen. So that's what you should notice. Um, the date should be after the 20, 20 January twenty fifteen, and so on. Um, so I signed the part as an incorporator. I also signed the part as a as, as a normal director. So if you elected someone, um, or if you elected yourself as an incorporator as well as a director, you need to sign both spaces and so on. So, and then what you also do is that you then attach um, your ID copy. So what I did here was that um, I attached my ID copy, Namu Samkeno Magoko, as a director of this company, um, and I signed this form, and then I was finished. So that, that's how we actually send supporting documents to the CIPC. However, 
another important thing to note is that um, it might happen that um, this is a form for a client I was helping out, a friend. So it might happen that um, you were not even in this company registration and um, you as an, an, an account holder, when in a customer account, you were helping someone else, a client and so on. So if you were helping a client in that sense, when a client is signing, you're not the one who's signing. It's actually the client is going to sign. So in this case, um, my friend Usbu, um, he signed as a director and also as an incorporator because he was the only one um, in his company. He signed as a director and also as an incorporator and um, he dated the form. And then he gave me his ID copy. So I had his ID copy as um, the director and incorporator of this company. And I also was required to also upload my ID copy as um, the customer account holder. So if you need customer accounts and you're helping someone um, to register a company and so on, and you're not a director in that company or an incorporator or whatnot, then in that sense, you also have to submit your own, excuse me, in that sense, you also have to submit um, your ID copy. So that's what's important and that's what's required. And then if you do that, your company registration is done. So just to recap, you have to have your ID copy as a director. Um, you also have to have, um, so it's an ID copy as a director. You need to sign the form as a director also and also as an incorporator. If you picked up, if you said you're a director, you're also an incorporator. And then if it happens that you are helping someone with your customer account um, and you're not necessarily um, a, a director in that company, then you have to then you have to also submit to your CIPC customer account. Um, excuse me. Then you also have to submit um your ID copy as um the CIPC customer account holder. So I think everything is clear. And if you have any problems or have any questions, just feel free to um post them in the comment section below. So that is the words will pin the order and then you can get clarity. But this is how we actually sign these documents, and yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Nothing much to say about it, but um, just wanting people to understand. We will see how to sign these documents because before we actually upload them, in course, in the next video, I'm sh I'll show you how you upload these documents and so on to the CIPC website. I wanted to show you how you actually sign these documents, and then obviously upload. So thank you for watching another Adoption Online Learning Academy tutorial. And I'll see you in the next one. Like I'm doing upload a corner of these documents. Sharp guys.